why we need to figure out what that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. Still no word from Carmelita? No worries, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. <laughs> Boss turned him into a coat for that La Paradox guy. Yeah, that La Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks just for fun. Ouch. Yeah, good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Watch yourself, Fly, and don't alert the guard. I hear you, pal. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait! Holy missing links! Sly, that's a prehistoric raccoon! I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility! Let's help him out. Sly, I have an idea. But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. Just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. Well, look who's at the party. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That cane man's club. Doesn't it look almost like a cane? Fly, you need to hurry. I think you might want to use a paraglider here, Fly. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now! Hold that big fool still! <laughs> Ah, Grizz, you paint so sweet, it looks good enough to eat. You got the key. Go grab that tiger skin, Sly. Excellent, Sly. Now get
get that tiger skin. Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Way to go, Sly. Now get going. Outstanding, Sly. That saber tooth skin is just what we need. If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I try using a leap to cross that gap. Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Sly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get him out of there. This is the perfect situation for your Cyclone Pouch. but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? 
Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. Okay, Murray, we need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back into climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. 
All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, sumo slap, duck and cover, super sling, and whack-a-chump. Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises, but they are Murray approved, so let's get started. Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm gonna pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. <laughs> Shifting your weight. That's using your balance. Don't let those penguins scramble your egg. Yeah, your balance is back. Way to stay on your feet, kid. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed, and not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Oh yeah, swing for the fences! The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win. <laughs> fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split-second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. <laughs> Put the smack down on those clowns! <laughs> Great! Just remember to aim for the real penguins! Be careful! These guys are 
guys are tricky. Hit a fake penguin and you're gonna get rocked. Oh yeah, that's picking your punches, chum. When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But, like, without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. If you can dodge a penguin, you can dodge anything. Figure out where those birds are going, then get out of the way! Good going, Bob! That's how you focus! During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big! I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power. Don't let him back you up. Come on, move that big bird! That's using your strength, champ! Bob, you've got what it takes! You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together! Everything at once! Sort of like a triple-decker pizza! You know what you gotta do. Now make the Murray proud. <laughs> <laughs>